I think I want to watch um, 300 today. Well, why don't we watch Shark 3 instead? I want to watch Saw 3. I heard it swell. Why do you want to watch all those horror and action movies? Well, girls watch horror and action movies too. What are you talking about? Don't talk to me that way. Sat Samurai. Sat Samurai, help, help us. us. I'm a Sat Samurai, and this is my no. sidekick. Oh. Oh. May I help you? I'm wondering what movie we should watch. I think girls can watch action and horror movies too. Let's set up this. Follow me. Action. Where are we? You're at the sickle layer of Stat Samurai. It feels like we've been here before. I know, baby. Oh, no you haven't. This is very secret. No one has been here yet. So, what is your problem, children? We're wondering if gender affects what kind of gender we watch. Okay, to answer this question, let's look at the 2x2 two two table of gender and movie category genre. Come on! Okay, now we're gonna use chi-square test. Well, why are we using a chi-square test instead of another test? Oh, we're using chi-square test because we're trying to find the relationship between gender and the type of movie. Okay, the requirements for a chi-square test is random sample, and then for the table bigger than 2x2, two two, the average expected cell count has to be at least 5, and for 2x2 two two table, expected cell count has to be at least 1. In this case, H0 is equal to that there is no relationship between gender and then the movie categories, and H HA is that there is relationship between gender and then the movie categories. Well, what is HO and HA stand for? Oh. HO is a null hypothesis and HA is alternative hypothesis. Oh. Well, when we did the test, the chi-square turned out to be 0 0.06028, p-value turned out to be 0 0.8061, and degree of freedom is 1. Okay, well, I don't see why any of these values are important. What do they mean? Well, based on the p-value 0 0.8061, there is not enough evidence to reject null hypothesis at 5 person level. Therefore, the test is not statistically significant, significant, so therefore, there is no relationship between gender and then the movie categories. Yeah. Oh, yeah I guess. In order to see if our results were accurate, why don't we conduct another test? Okay, then let's use two proportion Z tests. The requirements for two proportion Z test is that it has to be from two samples from two binomial settings. In this case, the P1, which is a proportion of males, is 306 over 546. P2, which is a proportion of female, is 240 over 546. The requirements in this case are met because it's, a, it's from two binomial settings. It's either they're males or females. The new hypothesis is taught is that P1 equals P2, and the alternative hypothesis, hypothesis is that P1 is not equal to P2. The Z statistic is 3.9945, P value is 0.0000649, and based on this P value that is so small, there is enough evidence to reject the new hypothesis at 1% level. So therefore, in this case, the proportions of male and proportion of female in the genre of horror are actually different. And they are statistically significant. Mission accomplished!